So today I had a coaching call with some of my students and the question came up. They were asking me what was one of the most important attributes as an entrepreneur. And I told them, it's being optimistic. Now, it's funny because they were kind of laughing at me. It's like, what do you mean by being optimistic, Wilson? Well, a lot of times when you are faced with a lot of challenges and as an entrepreneur, you face challenges every single day. That's your job to be able to solve problems. That's what being an entrepreneur is, is that you're providing a solution to a problem and in turn you get paid for it. So I told them that being optimistic is one of the biggest skill set and actually trait of a successful entrepreneur. And they asked why, why is that the case? Well, if you're not optimistic and you're always a Debbie Downer, you will never be able to see opportunities and solutions to solve problems. And when you're running a business, oftentimes there are no straightforward answers. There are no playbook. There are no equation for solving a specific problem. It's always about putting things together, going around uh, different problems and just having the tenacity to problem solve. And that's why being optimistic is super, super important because if you always see the negative stuff, then it will definitely drag you down and you won't have what it takes for you to prevail, for you to see the light at the end of the tunnel. And so they asked me, you're like, hey, Wilson, I get it. I, I get being optimistic is amazing. Like everyone wants to be optimistic. How? How can you become optimistic? How are you always so optimistic? Well, that really got me to think like, how did I become so optimistic? And then I realized that it's because I'm always super thankful. I'm always really thankful for what I have and I always give gratitude to everything around me. And I actually keep a gratitude journal. And basically every day I come in and I write down one or two things that I am grateful for. And that really primes my mind to see the goodness around the world. So these are just some of my stuff that I'm grateful for, stuff that I'm grateful for. Every single day, I write down different things that I'm grateful for. And being grateful doesn't mean that you, you, you need to have a promotion or that you have a new car, a new house, whatever the case may be. It doesn't have to be something big for you to celebrate. It can be something as simple as you waking up feeling healthy, feeling that nothing hurts in your body, feeling that, wow, I have a very clear mind. That is something you can be grateful for. Oftentimes I put in my journal, I feel super grateful for the opportunities that my parents have given me to be able to have the freedom to explore, freedom to actually do things, freedom to shoot videos for you guys. Because in a lot of different cities, countries around the world, it's a luxury. It's a luxury to be able to have the opportunity to do these things. And it's something that I always give thanks to my parents for giving me this opportunity to raise me in this environment. And because of the environment that I'm in, in Vancouver, in Canada, a lot of the political unrest in the world, a lot of unfair, unjust things, racism, things that are happening around the world, I am not, I'm not a victim of. And sadly, that's happening around the world. And it's just really, really unfortunate. And that's the reason why we need to give thanks. We need to be able to recognize and be thankful for the space and the place that we're in. And for you watching this video, you should definitely be thankful. The fact that you have the internet to be able to see this video shows that you're already one of the fortunate ones out there. And you can simply be giving thanks to be able to have a clear mind, to be able to have a mind that can articulate, to, to respond, to actually understand things, a mind that you can actually allows you to take action. These are all great things to be thankful for. And, and that's what I do. I keep my gratitude journal and every day it keeps me and primes me in a mode and in a state that I always recognize the good things that can happen in the world out there. And that allows me to see opportunity and it gives me power to go out there to actually approach all the different problems because I understand there's always goodness around the world. There's always goodness that can happen. 
and that becomes like a game for me and and that's why i really enjoy my whole whole journey in in, in being an entrepreneur is to be able to solve different problems and yeah being grateful also just makes me happier i really hope that you can find some inspiration from this video to find your own happiness things that you're grateful for and perhaps even start your own habit of keeping a gratitude journal definitely has helped me a ton hope you enjoyed this video make sure you guys subscribe along the journey i'll see you guys in the next video